we'll come to the point first we'll try to understand what is argument if you want to understand in depth about the argument one more session i included in your verbal reasoning or you can say section of uh, verbal ability where i explained in detail way how many type of argument can be possible how many type of argument cannot be possible which type of argument is uh, you can say uh, just a scope of the cat exam here just i want to identify i just want to make the difference which type of argument you must focus for your exam because if we are not focusing for that kind of argument it will lead toward the philosophy or natural science that we are not going to deal here that we are not going to deal here basically argument will be deductive and inductive we have to focus on inductive means whatever statement is given in your argument that we will assume it is correct we will not going to check the truthness of the argument that is called it if you want to check the truthness of the argument that will lead toward the philosophy leaves of the tree are green why it is green keep on think for two years why it is green but here if it is given leaves of the trees are green we will assume it it is green if it is given in place of green it is a red we will assume it is red means that point of time we will assume it is true and based on that we will try to make it it will be a strong weak or whatever following will be maybe it in the form of cause or effect or whatever can be but we are following here inductive argument not deductive deductive argument will follow toward the philosophy and natural science and many of the you can say sometimes occult science that we are not going to deal here for reasoning point of view inductive argument it can be a strong it can be weak in between a strong and weak also degree of measurement can be you cannot say like everything will be defined like a north pole and south pole no between north pole and south pole also life will be there similar way between a strong and weak argument degree of a strongness and degree of weakness also will be there but that detail is not going to discuss in this session that will discuss later in verbal reasoning if you are putting any assumption from your end and you are putting series of three assumptions when what is the percentage of impact of which assumption is more or which assumption is less means magnitude degree of magnitude how to measure the degree of magnitude either in the form of argument in the form of assumption or in the form of conclusion any of the format but here mainly we'll discuss two extreme point one is strong one is weak in between we will not consider just for temporary because basic understanding we are going to deal in this session it is just a gateway to verbal reasoning and end of logical reasoning then we are going to deal with inductive argument that can be uh, categorized in a strong and weak based on the you can say few images we will able to understand or uh, this uh, definition and classification in little better way argument can be deductive inductive valid invalid if it is deductive and inductive deductive then it can be valid or invalid how you can check it is valid how you can check it is invalid it is a big debate question or big philosophical question and uh, if it is valid then is it sound or unsound if it is invalid then of course it will be unsound no need to worry for this part we have to just come inductive argument it will be a strong and weak if it is a strong then it is cogent or uncogent if it is weak then deductive and inductive similar way multiple way we can uh, divide and understand classifying argument argument may be divided into two types deductive deductive further will go toward valid and invalid in which the intention is certainty of the truth of the conclusion and the logic can be delivered i think generally we will not understand very easily philosophical terminology leave it inductive strong and weak in which the logic is limited to establishing the highest possible probability of the truth of the conclusion here also understanding not easy but we have to understand highest possible probability then it is a in which the logic is limited to establishing the highest possible probability of the truth of the conclusion we are not going to check it is certainly truth or not